Now, when international telly drag queen RuPaul went on a hunt for a UK ambassador, she picked two Glaswegian queens to lip sync for their you lives. Like doing that, I don't love you? doing that, <laughs> along with 98 other hopefuls. Well, one of those queens, Ru Jazzle, joins us now to tell us a bit more. Welcome! Great to see you! Great to see you on the show. Hello! And you look fabulous. Thank you so Some much. Some might say fierce, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look absolutely wonderful. Thank how did it feel to be one of those finalists to be selected by RuPaul? I just, I felt so proud being there, being representing the modern Scottish drag and being there for Glasgow. We're the only two queens from Scotland. We're both from Glasgow, so it's so amazing being there. Um, but yeah. sadly, you didn't yeah. get to become ambassador, but obviously you represented your country well. Exactly, and it was amazing exposure. Um, I've had so many lovely messages and people saying that they're so proud of me, and yeah, it's just amazing. What did you have to do? Well, about a month ago, RuPaul sent out a message to the world saying he's looking for a, a UK sort of figurehead mm -hmm. for the drag scene here. And we all had to kind of submit YouTube videos of ourselves lip syncing to his songs um, and sort of showing what kind of drag we do. And then he kind of narrowed it down to 20 finalists that went to London and performed for him and as one of them. Can I just ask, how did you get into drag in the first place and how long have you been doing it for? Well, I didn't wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm going to be a drag queen. Really? It, it, didn't, it didn't quite happen like that. Um, it was a very gradual process and I think it was through through friends and through just like looking for a hobby. I've always been a very kind of like artistic person and all the things that I enjoy doing in my life, like painting and making clothes, I've always loved fashion, I love performing, they all kind of came together into becoming drag. And it's my main kind of creative outlet in my life. I love it so much. It's so amazing. Do you know what I love? I love your makeup. And I have always wondered how drag queens perfect the makeup because it's quite complicated. Any woman will know that to try and do the contouring on the <laughs> eye makeup, it's very tricky, isn't it? And to get both eyes to match up. Absolutely. How did you learn to do that? There must have been some disasters before you, you hit the spot. Well, I've been doing drag for about two or three years now. I've been performing for a year, but I've been doing makeup for like three years now and it's a very long process to kind of reach this level which is close to perfection I would say. Um, but we agree, we <laughs> agree. I think the main thing is just practice and learning from others and watching videos on YouTube are so helpful um, and just like experimenting. That's that's how you, you learn. And this is an art form as well. Yeah, really, exactly. for you, that's that's, what, that's how I feel. Yeah. I feel like drag has changed so much in the past maybe like five to ten years it's no longer just sequin gown and beehive it's much more than that it's more like artistic and i'm a very kind of high fashion creative queen that's what i like to present in myself and you perform like lip syncing out and about at clubs as well don't i do you? That's your yeah job. i performed all over the country um um yeah well so where can we see you next well next week i'm performing in, twice in Glasgow and once in Edinburgh. You can see me at Lacey Rain's show on Wednesday and in the AXM next Friday. I'll be supporting um, a RuPaul's Drag Race queen called Max. So see me there. Oh, it's Busy been time. lovely to meet you. It has. Thank you for spending your Friday night with thank us. Thank you, it's been but a now pleasure. I think we have to say to you, it's time for you, you to, to sashay, sashay away. away. <laughs> All will be revealed. I think we did as well. I think we did totally. Well, that's almost all we have time for tonight. We've packed in a fantastic drag queen.